Right, hello, welcome back to the E-Boys podcast. How are we doing, boys? How are, how are we all? I'm, I'm great, well. actually. I'm doing pretty well. Fucking I'm doing bang. pretty good. How are you, Will? I'm brilliant, George. I'm doing really good. Right, England uh, one. Like, it's nearly still light outside and we're recording a podcast. Why are you so happy? What's 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 with that? I'm saying it's nearly, there's nearly light in the sky still and we're recording a podcast. <laughs> I've got my window open. Oh, yeah, the clocks did the thing, didn't they? They did the thing, and I woke. I woke up at like 12 p.m. and I was like, "What? What?" Yeah. Oh, that freaked me out it was last weird. night. I uh, generally I was sat I on my phone. Realize. I watched the clock over. No, neither do I. Because time is it doesn't exist anymore. I was up watching. I don't know why. I've never watched Game of Thrones, but over the last three days, I've been watching every clip I could find from Game of Thrones in completely random order. So I don't yeah. know what the fuck's happening, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> Save yourself the week or two, honestly. But I did. Th- I've been doing the exact same thing. I've been doing the thing, same thing with Breaking Bad, except I've seen ba- Breaking Bad before, so I know how the story goes. I accidentally spoiled Breaking Bad for someone the other day because you know there's who that hasn't meme. seen. If someone hasn't seen Breaking Bad at this point, they deserve to have it. Spoiled yeah, they deserve it. Careful, we'll lose some. We'll lose some viewers. No spoilers coming. It's fine. One spoiler. Can I do this? Spoiler? No spoilers, bro. Okay, right. Well, okay. Well, the point is, I will do it without spoiling it. There's the reaction image of Heisenberg going, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> the reaction right i said that in a chat and obviously on discord it comes up with the title of the image before the image pops up oh, no. the title of the image was character fucking dies, dies. <laughs> yeah no oh, and no. he was like you just spoiled with the heisenberg react image and i, I said it again like oh <laughs> but, yeah all right today the topic is today we're going through your darkest your dirtiest confessions. No, not confessions. Yeah, confessions, yeah? Confessions. Yeah, there we go. Well done. And we're going to judge you if you're scum or not, okay? I'm, I'm very excited to see what the depths of the e-boys following me. <laughs> I'll be honest, right? So we've had Ola go over and, and star some, and I've clicked the first one, and it's rotten. <laughs> it's go just share your screen. Criminal. Share your screen. Really? I want to no, see no, this. No, no, we can read. Oh, well. I'm gonna. Uh, t- I'm, today, I'm going to be using my uh, reading comprehension to uh, mm. go through all of these. The only e-boy who's got that. Get really close to the mic and whisper in it. Go on, a bit of ASMR. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, give her a good old story. This one comes from Alex. I once laughed at my teacher for crying about her child being ill. That's that a start. Yep. Okay. Only to find out her first child died, and she was oh. worried that her other child would die as well. Oh no! What did the child have? It doesn't say. Right. Uh, I think it was Ligma. Oh, um, no. Was... <laughs> probably a bit insensitive uh, for the beginning <laughs> of the podcast. But... 2018's on the fucking phone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We don't know if the other kid died, though. Are we, what are we saying about that? Are we, first of all... But you're a child, though, isn't it? It's just that's impetual... That's just being a bit daft. Yeah. Yeah. You see how I went for the big word there, didn't know it, and then stuck to what I knew. <laughs> stuck to what I knew there. That's in petrol. <laughs> it would have been tragic if the child had these. Oh, these fuck. What? Right, I'm moving on. These nuts. I don't oh, think that mate. is that bad. I also am calling slight cap on it. It would be bad if the child had these nuts, though, wouldn't it, George? If a child had, had these nuts, that would be pretty terrible. Do not make this next hour difficult. I've got a lot of these to read through. <laughs> oh, yeah. The shoe's on the other foot now. (laughs) Uh, This one comes from Maddie. Okay. (laughs) It's in Morse code. (laughs) Already funny automatic. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) She told us where she is. Uh, When I was in year seven, I used to walk like an hour and a half home. And one time, I went into Morrison's because I had to buy something for my mum. Turns out I really needed to piss. So I ended up going on the floor. Sorry. Long story short... I was, as you do. Yeah, as you do. You know, there's people always going there, around there mopping up. It's basically like doing it in the shower. Mm. That's horrific. Like, pissing on the Morrison's floor is just like... Do you reckon... How many more people have pissed on a Morrison's floor than they have a Waitrose floor? Do you reckon there's... Millions. <laughs> uh, like, you know, like, you know when you divide by zero and it's, like, infinite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd only do that in Waitrose, mate. Yeah, no, I wouldn't dare piss on a Waitrose floor. I was lucky enough that I had a drink in my hand, so I blamed it on that. I still had to walk another 40 minutes home. That's horrific. It's like Alex with the Fanta. Sorry, yeah. The, the, no, you kind of talk. I, yeah, relatable. Yeah, actually, I, I think that I understand where they're coming from. I understand the, the problem there. 
Um, that is horrific. Why would you even send that in to anybody? Why would you admit to doing that? Can you have gone into a subway? It's not, no, it's not, no, 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 that's not good. I think the worst one, the first one was worse than that. You just pissed on the Morrison's floor. They, oh, yeah. they are 16 years old as well, so. Oh. What, they pissed on the floor at 16? Oh no, it says when I was in year seven, sorry, I only just oh, realized right. that. Right, so um, 12, 11, that's not that deep. Yeah. Nah, it's not. Nah. <laughs> Like it's it's a bit weird, but like if that's your deepest, darkest secret, I think you're all right. You're doing all right, yeah. Yeah, no, you've lived a pretty tame life. I think you can stay around. I knew someone who was above the age of twenty who shat himself at university. Is this you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a friend of a friend. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I I've just heard this of is what, sorry, my friend did. This is my friend did this. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, you okay. just say it's you, mate. This one comes in from. Uh, hold on. I've, I've... Oh, give us a juicy one. Give us a juicy one. We need to kick this off. Give us a, a long one. This one comes in from Ruby P. Sorry, this so one what, comes in from Are you allowed to Ruby. say the names? Are you definitely allowed to say the names? I've just said the first names. Ruby yeah, P. that'll be fine. Okay, get rid of the P. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> we've got Ruby Peters. We've got Jemima. Oh, oh. my God. It can't what? be that bad. When I was three years old, I used to swing my cat around by her tail and pretend she was a circus animal. Oh, no. I have also exploded pens in my mouth at least 10 times. I've done that. No, I think, that. Yeah, no, I think the first one's a bit worse yeah. than... <laughs> yeah, we started up here and then we got down here. Yeah, I <laughs> thought it said that she used to explode pens in her cat's mouth. Oh, yeah, that would have been horrific. Yeah, no, that would be quite bad. It would have been the cat's fault for biting it. Yeah, yeah oh, that's how that okay, works. Right. That's a strange combination, though. Like, to pick those two as your deepest, darkest confessions. I abuse animals. Also, sometimes I chew on a pen a bit too hard. I don't think those really go hand in hand. <laughs> and it was when there were three. Well, come on, we need a... We find a bastard. Okay, well, I found one. Okay. This one comes yes, in from, on. from Clifford. I've heard Clifford. he's a Clifford. Oh, <laughs> God, he's a wrong one. Um, <laughs> I was the one who put... Bi oh, God, guys. I used to put bin bags over the year 10 toilet seats and wrote signs saying out of order, even though the toilets were not out of order. <laughs> Bloody hell, Clifford. What? <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'd do. Oh, for, for, is that it? Bloody hell, Cliff. Who, Can't brings believe in, you do this. who brings in bin bags to school? Our audiences are fucking neeks, man. <laughs> 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 Come on, we need some like arsonists or something. Yeah, then we'll yeah. get there. We'll get to the, like the murder charges, hopefully by the end of this. <laughs> we fucking better do. Do you reckon someone who's watched us has murdered someone? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Statistically, they must have. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Surely, hang on, hang on. How many? Pe ha okay, I'm gonna see what are the odds of being a murderer. I'm sure at least twenty people have murdered the beat. Right. What <laughs> is that? You have as pussy. if as if our audience are filled with hip hop entrepreneurs i don't really i i don't know i don't understand i don't think clifford's laying down entrepreneurs? entrepreneurs yeah well you know if you i laid out a 616 <laughs> yeah, well, you know, as an nft it's an art and you know you gotta respect it <laughs> let's try to use big words to make myself seem intelligent uh, it didn't really work i mean i'm looking at something it says americans have one chance in oh, 133 cute. of being murdered what and then surely everyone else is like one in 1000 compared to them lot yeah, yeah, mm. but, um, hang on. Like, one in uh, 133? Your... Yeah, that seems really? really high. That's fucking very high. That's really, that's mental mm. high. Um, I don't Do know if that's, like... you America, 10 people in, in your school will turn out to be murderers? I don't know, I'm trying to find a uh, statistic of how... Oh, but then, that's, but the statistic is, one in 133 have a chance of being murdered, not the murderer, because you oh. obviously get, like, people that kill a lot of people. Yeah, but most of the time, murderers will kill, like, one or two people, won't they? Yeah. Or like they'll just kill someone out of anger, you know what I mean? Hmm. So wait, what what is the statistic then? I don't know. It's not it's not telling me, but um I'm seeing this one in 133 pop up a lot. That's worrying. But I say statistically, there is at least one murderer watching this. Damn. One wow, that's that terrifying. Well, that's killed a fucking mood. I don't want to do it for him anymore or her. Do you reckon someone's watching us in prison? Cheers. Uh, hopefully they send us an email. Send us an email. If you're watching, right, you get out. Get out of this podcast so we, we've got some vibes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. If you're not going to contribute, at least admit to it. We could get them on as a guest. Graphically describe how you murdered someone. Yeah, Jesus. come on here I'll and basically one. confess, and that will be an episode. Okay. That would bang. I once lied about where I was born to everyone in high school to stand out. 
That's fuck. What the f <laughs> Who cares? Come Who on. cares? Raise the level, James. I'm, I'm, look, I'm going through all well, of you the. You can see them. Where do you reckon they lied? Where do you reckon they're actually from? I don't care. Scumfork. They're from Scumfork, and they said they were from. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Switzerland. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure, <laughs> mate. So, so one day when I was ten, I was playing a game on my mum's phone, and I opened her camera roll. I was looking for pictures of my cat, but instead of the cat pictures, I found pictures of her fanny. <laughs> oh not... no, different type of pussy. But that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, that's a like oh, singer right it's... there, boys. <laughs> um, yeah, though that's all. I mean, <laughs> wait, they put it, and I've not been the same since. Smiley face. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh god. <laughs> I mean, like imagine. What kind of person takes like the imagine like the idea of taking a picture of your vagina? Like what is I can't the, to be honest. What I kind really of angle would, would you go to... for there? Where are you going? Where are you going with this? Where are you going? Relate, yeah. I want to be able to relate. Well, I just can't imagine like what what kind of mum goes. This man wants to see a picture of my vagina, not like what? a you know. What? So you're saying once you've had a kid, funny, useless, funny, bad. <laughs> I mean, I I don't I wouldn't know, but I funny, mean, bad, I don't like, discriminate. My homies hate the fanny. What the fuck, man? <laughs> well, no, I don't mean like that, but it's it's a it's a fanny picture. It's not like a nude, you know. It's a picture of a vagina. Oh, but it might have been for um, what's it called? The, the vagina doctor. That one. The vagina doctor. <laughs> oh my god! I once shat on my mate's hamster. <laughs> Sorry. What? Why? And how? Ha <laughs> what? How? How did that work? Did he get him like it, hold him in his hand? And... <laughs> Hopefully, we're about to find out, right? Oh, no, that's it. it. There, is there a video attached? Also, or, like, I how, he, add, how This is a business email. This is Stephen something business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does he sell? Oh, God. I don't want to know. What are the logistics behind that? Chuck his email in chat. I'll try and find out what he does, what Hamster Man does. We're not here to dox these people. <laughs> we're shout out with business. <laughs> But I don't think I'm calling Cap. It was too. It's not detailed enough for me to believe it. Yeah, he probably didn't do that. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's just very generic, cut, cookie cutter. Yeah. Shot on a hamster, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. My confession. He's a from, voice actor, I think. From Shiloh, <laughs> is one time I cut the wire of my teacher's computer because I was feeling risky, and it somehow made all of the power go out in the school. No one knows it was me. Nobody cares. Come on, what? Will. We can we can be a bit more Sorry. positive about all these. Well, it's dull though, isn't it? Will's <laughs> like YouTube's James Bond, so he hates all of this. I did a fucking stereo confession show and got darker shit than this. I want to <laughs> hear cheating scandals. I want to hear sleeping with your best friend's boyfriend. That's what I want to. We got okay. any 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 naughty ones? I was looking after my friend's rabbit while she was away for five days with her family. However. On the day before she came back, the rabbit wouldn't move. It was dead. Oh. I noticed I'd accidentally left a can of slug pellets in the cage the day before. Oh. I panicked because I was responsible for looking after it, and she would absolutely hate me. It would also seem intentional, as I have a mild fear of bunnies, so I devised a plan. Why did you agree to look after a rabbit if you're afraid of rabbits? I mean... I, I suppose yeah, no I choice, I guess. The cage was outside, so I used pliers from her shed to cut a hole in the cage and made it look like teeth marks and then I put the dead rabbit in a bin bag and put it in the neighbour's bin. The next day we both arrived at her house at the same time. I had to pretend to be as shocked as her when we both saw the rabbit had escaped. To this day she still says sometimes, I wonder what happened to my rabbit and I have this wave of guilt wash over me. That's horrifying. Oh my god, you'd rather just come clean, right? You'd rather just have to come clean. Brutal. So if you've had a rabbit go missing at some point, this, this could be it. Yeah. This could be... I would vote scumbag. I think yeah. I would come, you just come clean at that point, right? You, you, yeah, but surely when you, that's, you're in too just, deep. Yeah. You're exactly. in too deep yeah. at that point. If it's been like a decade, like... Yeah, you've covered up a murder there. In too deep. You can't just turn around one day and be like, oh yeah, I accidentally killed your rabbit. Yeah, if you've gone on for this long, but in the moment, my, I would just be like, fuck, I've got to admit to this. Yeah, you should have confessed there and then, but they didn't, so... We could really dub in the friend by saying the full name. No, we? <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. No, James. No, James. We're getting content out of this. We can't stiff them. We're not about that. This is confidential. You can trust us. Yeah, your confessions are safe. Your confessions are safe with us. <laughs> All right. Amy says, A few years ago, I was staying at a friend's house for a party she was having. At the party, there was this lad that she had a massive crush on, this is and he ended up being all over me. 
After the party, we talked on Snapchat and ended up sending pics and stuff to each other, and she still doesn't know. Ooh. Oh, oh yes, yeah, best friend in the back. Did what? Sorry, was there any context? Did did she just like the lad or the massive the crush? Before? Massive crush. Ooh. Yeah, a big one. Where'd you stand on that? Yeah, so it's not scumbag, is it? But she hadn't really done anything. She didn't. She might not have had a hope. It might have been a futile crush. Yeah. And then, like, fuck it. Like, we need to go deploy realism here. Are you calling them ugly? I don't know enough. We need more detail. <laughs> is your mate fucking ugly? Yeah, like, if, if I'm Alex has a crush on a girl, that's not going to... That's not going to deter me, you know what I mean? Yeah, too right. Like, if we both like her, that's not going to deter me. <laughs> nothing ever does, George. No, nothing would stop you. <laughs> you just go barreling through. We all know you, George. Big strapping lad. Uh, there'd be nothing <laughs> anybody could do. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I think, I, I agree with Will there. It really depends on the realism in the situation. I think you got to wear it up. Who had the chance? Mm. Well, clearly you. If she needed, if she, if she had no hope, fuck her. She needs to grow up. You can't claim but somebody she... really just by going, "Oh, I fancy him first. It's not how it works. Yeah, exactly. It's not like uh, it's not like shotgun, is it? No. <laughs> yeah. You can't shotgun a human. <laughs> yeah, that's that would be. There's a bit objectifying, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is well, a bit. But you've got to respect your friend as well. I think it can really like ruin a friendship yeah. if one of you's got a crush on someone. You've mentioned that you have it, and then you go and mm. do it anyway. Mm. You know, it's just kind of like you can't. No, it's not. Risk and reward in it, though, really. Yeah. I see absolutely no problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, we all know we can trust George. <laughs> well, no, it's not like they're going out or something. It's like if someone has a crush on someone. Yeah. That doesn't... That's that, There's no, like... Uh, what's it? Are you showing your true like colours the... today, mate? No, 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 no. It's not boy, fucking cheating or anything, boy. is it? It's not cheating or anything, is it? Like, <laughs> No, we, no, it's understandable. We... If you know someone that has a crush on someone, yeah. that's not cheating if you get with that person, is it? No, we get it's it, just... mate. We get no, 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 it. No, How no, is no, that cheating. immoral? It's just, it well, it's fine, man. Just don't worry about it. If they've got a hope. Don't worry about it. Has this happened to you, George? No. Yeah, I feel like you're quite passionate about this. <laughs> Did no, you I'm just saying it's not immoral. You can't, you can't put it on like the same platform as cheating because it's not. Nobody did. Yeah, you'd know. It's not cheating, Will. I know, I know, and nobody said it was. No, yeah, you're getting very defensive here. <laughs> that one's really hit you, George. Yeah, you're right there, mate. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> saying because it's not like George. I, okay, I no, okay. There's no issue with that. So there's no to issue hit us, with that, George. You're trying yeah, to hit it's us. Fine, no, we agree, mate. Right. I was once in a Zoom for my class and was just browsing Instagram when I came across a super hot chick. <laughs> this, this really Oh, did you write this one? Did you write these? A super hot chick. A oh, super yeah, hot we all chick. love them. We love super hot chicks. Sorry? Oh, yeah, because I've definitely said super hot chick before. How's the I, I was on the Instagram how and I saw some bitches? babes on my Instagram. Like, fuck <laughs> so, off. So, I don't, so, I don't so know James, so, that. James, James, how's the bitches? Yeah, oh, great. Thanks. Oh, no. Uh, why do you remember that? And one thing led to another, and I ended up with my cock and balls out on camera. In Sorry. A front, in front of Sorry. about 70% Sorry, what? of Sorry, what? Hang on, what? Can we wheel this up? Can we wheel this up from the start, please? I reckon what he's trying to say here <laughs> is also called Alex. Quite a few of these people yeah, are called Alex. Yeah, it's not Alex. me, man. Um, uh, basically, they didn't know their video was on on a Zoom call for an assembly at their school, they see someone's Instagram, they start having a wank, and their video's on, and 70% of the school see it. Assembly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's like that's like top three life worst fears. <laughs> Didn't anyone say anything? Do you reckon it was in that? He's got the whole yeah. wide world in his hands. Oh, doing that. <laughs> in his hands. <laughs> God, he's old wide cock. In his Jesus hands. Christ. He's got a How cock and balls in his hands. Watching. Also, they're saying they want to confess their sins on the podcast, but there's nothing to confess here. Seventy percent of their school know that this happened. It's not, you know. I wish to confess. Ooh. I wish that to confess. Such br- so Why brutal. is our audience so strange? <laughs> what did we yeah. do? Well, he didn't know. He didn't know. It's, no, but it's still, one, don't one have a wank during assembly. Oh, yeah, do <laughs> 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 right, James. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. That is a bit odd. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, scum. <laughs> Are we saying scum? 
Like, all right, take it out of Zoom. Take it out of Zoom and imagine that in a in a hall like situation. You know, when you're sat cross legged and you turn around and you wait, it's out of the one can assemble. It would be unacceptable. And I think you should take the same rules into a Zoom call. Different scenario. It's a different yeah. scenario, but same premise. Well said, Alex. Well said. We're learning lots here in this E Boys podcast. This one's titled Hamster Confession. Oh, not another <laughs> no one. one. Uh, if they shot on it again. This one's from. Oh, they don't want their, any of their names said here. That <laughs> must oh, be bad. This is, okay. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I had a hamster called Stephen. Not Stephen tries. Well, thanks for confirming. And I kept the cage in my bedroom. Bad decision. The cage made the room smell so bad, and I couldn't stand it any longer. So I took the hamster out and I put it in a little running wheel ball thing, which I just. Oh my god. While I decided to repeatedly spray the cage with air freshener to get rid of the smell. Mm. And I just put Stephen back in without a second thought. Came back later to see that Stephen had died choking <laughs> on the fumes. <laughs> Rip big man Stephen. <laughs> they gashed their fucking... Oh, oh that's, that's stupid, but it's not malicious. It's not evil. It's not so stupid that they should have known. Yeah. No, they didn't, like, spray the air freshener down the hamster's mouth or anything, did they? <laughs> like... that's, that's outrageous. Cursed. That is fucked, but I don't think you're a bad person. They meant well. It's one of those things you learn in life. Like, you shouldn't mm. put air freshener in a... Yeah, don't do that. ...hamster cage. How the fuck can something which is supposed to freshen the air make the air poisonous? Can we talk about that? Because that doesn't make sense to me. Too much of anything is bad for you, mate. Maybe because there was so much. Yeah. I've never gone, this air is so fresh, I'm going to die. Well, <laughs> now we know, James. See, that person didn't know, and now we know. They're Why educating all of us. So there you We're, go. They're educating all of us. We just saved probably some hamsters' lives. Like, that hamster died so many could live on uh, through... Uh, because the owners will be watching this podcast and they'll know not to air freshen their hamster cages. Yeah, we're very educational here, aren't we, to be honest? We, we run an educational pod. Do we have anything that's not hamster-related? Yeah, I do. Uh, this one, I, I don't think it's necessarily that much of a confession, but I think it's an interesting conversation. I'm in high school and I still sleep with a teddy bear. And when I put it under Ooh. the covers, I have to Ooh. make sure its head is above the blanket so it can breathe. That's nice. <laughs> When he said sleep with, I thought that was about to go a lot worse. So, still sleep with... What were you about to say you could relate, Will? No. What? Because you seem to perk up a lot when you heard that. I was like, oh, he's going to say, like, fucking... You've got a lot of teddy bears, Will. Uh, yes. Oh, actually, the big one's downstairs. I think G took the other one. Ah, stolen. I I still sleep... I mean, I sleep with a Pusheen. Oh, they're cool, though. A what? I have a Pusheen pillow. I don't know what a Pusheen is. It's like a cat. Oh, right. But I used to have a, a, t- a teddy bear until secondary school. And I, and I wet the bed in year seven. So there we go. Nice. James, you can stop there if you want, honestly. You, you, you've got the right to remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't need to know that. We weren't pro- pushing you for that. Anything you might regret in the future, you, do, you can hold to yourself. And like, <laughs> we're just talking about teddy bears. <laughs> I've become very accepting of my childhood trauma. Oh, I used to have to take... I, my parents used to make me take sugar pills, telling me that they would solve the fact that I used to wet the bed at such a late age. And they uh, worked. <laughs> it was it was oh. a placebo. <laughs> James, oh. why are you telling us that? Why are you telling this to like 300,000 people? <laughs> why did we get anybody to email in? We should have just spoken to you. Yeah, we should have just done it on fucking James. <laughs> we should have gone James James so what happened throughout your life there we go that's an hour <laughs> this is fucking me worrying. so um, I don't sleep with a teddy bear there we go moving on um, confession I hooked up with my cousin in Canada on holiday is this one of yours James or one of theirs here that's we go we're getting, we're getting into the good <laughs> stuff now <laughs> any more <laughs> any more any more detail uh, that's it <laughs> is that it they didn't give us the, the, the deets I hooked up with my cousin um, that's it. What? All right. Is there a right. certain level of hooking up that would be acceptable? With your cousin? No. Are you, are you asking for future <laughs> reference for you, Alex, or for them? Future reference, maybe. Just to test the waters. <laughs> just just playing devil's advocate. <laughs> you got any sexy cousins, Alex? No, I, I've never done that. I'm not like James and going to confess. Professor Elm. That was a pause. Did anyone, did anyone hear how long that pause was? <laughs> <laughs> My internet sucks here. That's the only reason why the pause oh, yeah. is so long, I swear. And so does yeah, your yeah, fit yeah, cousin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got the yeah, same internet, sucks. Alex. I, I heard that pause. No, I didn't have to think it through. No, I mean... You don't, you don't have, have any cousins? cousins? Not one. In Newcastle, they're all brothers and sisters. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, well then. <laughs> Nice. That's great for you. 
Uh, hey boys, I've got a weird confession to make. A uh, bit of backstory. I'm a football coach over here in Australia, current, currently coaching an under 21s female team. Started coaching them as my ex girlfriend at the time was playing. I've had this confession, it's brilliant. And they needed a coach. Anyways, we broke up because I cheated on her with her teammate and got together with that girl. Now we've been together for about a year, um, but I've been secretly having sex with other girls in the team, and my girlfriend doesn't know. To he end this confession the whole with team. a question, should I tell her or not? We've got a really good thing going where I love spending time with her, but she never wants to have sex, and I always do. So, and they're all on the same team as well. They're all on the same fucking. So I got this for a stereo fucking show, and the girls are all still on the team. The, on the team that he, the, what he coaches. Yeah. Why does? Yeah, that's it. So what? What's his dilemma? Oh, they he's must just, know. Just admitting to being a scumbag. He doesn't know whether to tell his girlfriend, who's also on the team. So did he cheat on that girlfriend on the new one? Yes. No, he cheated on the one before with the oh. new one. Well, you don't need to tell the new one anything. Oh, and but then, the thing is, is, isn't it like, isn't it like he's sleeping with the team? Yeah. Isn't that what you just said? That he's sleeping. Pretty with... much, I think he's been round left back, centre mid, striker, left wing, false ten. You're telling me that if at Tottenham right now, Mourinho didn't go around and shag off the players, they wouldn't mm. play probably ten times as better as they you, would do. Yeah. No, you can't tell them because it'll ruin team morale. For the good of the team, <laughs> you've got to stay quiet. Or the results will go down the pan. For the good of the league. It depends, though, doesn't it? It depends. Is your ex-girlfriend, is she in the starting eleven? Is she rotation? <laughs> Because if you don't need her... Oh, God. Is it an Elliot Hackney level player? Because yeah, is it, is it Hackney type level? It sounds like half the team. You can't piss off half the team. you just got to keep it yourself, Toxic King. If you were the girl at the... T right, so imagine... So you, you have your first girlfriend, you start coaching the team, you cheat on that girl with another girl. Mm. If you were the girl that um, you, he, he has left someone for... Right, so you're the second girl. She's got brilliant you, ball control. That's what, sorry. <laughs> you've got to un then understand that he is going to keep doing this. He's got uh, probably a coat, like probably at least over twenty in the squad, and mm. you just think you're the one that he had sex with. No, yeah. that he's going to keep going as long as he doesn't go with the youth team. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh god, hey, he's got under twenty ones, <laughs> 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 not the under sixteens as well. Yeah, I think. I think you've got to, you're in too deep. Like the hamster woman, you just shut up from now on. And Surely you quit. And don't, don't settle down. Go manage another team. Start again. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm without, because if they're not, if, he's, if he wants to have sex and they're not having sex, I don't get, what was the, what's, is, is, is yeah, what is the confession time? here? Is he because there because for... also, I feel he like he's worked out an unbelievable the system. Football team. It'll be the league next. He is in a bit of a predicament because he likes the girl he's dating, but right. she she doesn't. He likes spending time with her, but he, she doesn't want to have sex with him. So I think they've got a good emotional relationship. However, she does not provide the sexual side of things, so he gets that elsewhere. But I feel as though if you're not getting that and you need that, you shouldn't be in that relationship. I've got another question. Yeah, is the team performing better? After he's slept with all of them. Yeah, we need to know <laughs> league form, don't we? Yeah, compared mm -hmm. to before. This because if it. they're top of the league, I say he keeps it under wraps, keep on doing what you're doing. But maybe if you need a bit of motivation, you should be like, look, I've shagged half of you. They were better than the, than the other lot, and I think they're going to play ahead of you. So unless you up your game... If you want to play first team, <laughs> you've got to do a bad job. And then you could, you could climb the league. I think this is the new football manager. This is how the next game should be. Oh. God. You should have an option to sleep. This is Phil Neville with the England's women's team. That's <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Well, the picture is Ainsley Harriet, which is, and he's just been staring at me this whole time, and it's making me quite uncomfortable. Well, that's the guy's AVI. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's real, by the way. I don't believe this story. Nah, I think it is. I've had this before. You've had it before, as in you've been involved in this situation, or? It's 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 the it's the, it's the it's the best one, so we can't say it's pretend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm in for realism, just for the content. Okay. When I was five and my brother was four, oh my god, I gave him bleach off the side, and he drank it and was in a coma. Jesus Christ. Oh. He's still alive now, so it's all good. I also tried to off myself when I was six by jumping out of a window. The window is closed though, so I just face planted the floor. Oh. I also broke my brother's arm by convincing him to jump out of an apple tree when he was 11. We're all still alive, though. Okay, well, still on the lining. There's a lot to deconstruct there. There's a... Right, but for the bleach thing, five is, fi five is five. 
jumping out of a tree at 11, you knew what you were doing. It's, it's a bit psychopathic, isn't it? A bit scary. Well, why would you keep the window closed? Well, the, the five-year-old one I can excuse. I don't know where to go with that. Shaggy, I want to see more, 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 more dirty shaggers. Um, <laughs> this one's called Hamster. Oh, Lovely. fuck off, what is man. This? The hamster's fucking written in. Okay, they've, they've even sent a picture of the poor bastard. Right, let's read this. Go on, put him in chat. Uh, this is, yeah, this can we is, save uh, the context? The, the hamster in question. I'm so worried about what this is going to be. This is the hamster. Oh, well, it looks all right. Ooh. So, it looks um, like my brother's one. Oh my god, right, this isn't the hamster that... Okay, this is the hamster they got after this hamster unfortunately passed away. Oh. Uh, the hamster before... I accidentally knelt on my Russian dwarf hamster when I was a kid because it jumped off my hand. It died. Russian dwarf hamster. Russian dwarf hamster, so... You know, like the really small ones. They've even got, like, Tory hamsters. Yeah. So hamster jumps out of her hand, she kneels down to try and get it, squishes the hamster with her knee, dies. You know, apparently Actually, that ha Oh my god! Hmm. You know that happens a lot, apparently. People sit on their pets a lot and kill them. I didn't know this yeah, was a problem. I've heard that. I saw this girl on TikTok who used to go to sleep with this, like, animal. I can't remember what it was. And she had, like, half a million followers on TikTok. And she used to sleep with it. And she rolled over in the night and killed it. That's a bit That's a bit of a mean thing to call her boyfriend, Alex. I really, I really hope that no issues come to Otto because I love him so much. And I always get really worried if he's ever going to be ill. Don't sit on him then. Well, no, it's not that. No, nah, he he's he's he, he could firm it. He's you. I reckon he'd firm it. Yeah, no, I think he'd, he he has a higher chance of killing me by sitting on me. He just lift. He just start fucking bench pressing you. Yeah. Also, cats aren't dumb. Like I've accidentally tr trod on my cat before, and he was fine. He just ran off. Yeah. I think if you I think if you pissed that cat off, you'd be in danger. Yes. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah, he's absolutely. gotten bigger as well recently. I've noticed that he's got a bit more like muscle to him. He's scary. Ooh. He's terrifying. He's, he's beefed up. He's been bulking. Yeah, yeah, he's beefcake. He's been bulking. This one's called sex toy mistake. <laughs> more like it. And it's a long one, so I think this will be good. I don't condone what I did, but I do think it is funny. That's a great start. That's brilliant. a brilliant start. My sister came over. Oh God. My sister came over a couple of weeks ago as I'm in her bubble and she was complaining about her blackheads as a result of the stress she's been under working from home. It was at this moment I remembered my girlfriend had bought one of those poor suckers. So to help her out, I brought it in for her to use. James, what's that face it's for? It's a clit sucker. Uh, not long after my girlfriend comes into the living room to see my little sister rubbing her clit sucker on her nose. <laughs> <laughs> I did mistake a clit sucker with a facial pore sucker. <laughs> My sister is very innocent and wouldn't have known what it was. No! I've sent a picture of what a pore sucker looks like and what I gave my sister. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god. This is horrible. <laughs> That's horrendous. That's fucking horrendous. A clit sucker. <laughs> yeah. That's the clit sucker. This is what a poor sucker looks like. Oh my god, fair, <laughs> fair mistake. Fair fucking mistake. Oh my god. Imagine <sighs> being the girlfriend, walking in on your boyfriend and their little sister, and she oh. is just rubbing your sex You're... toy on her face. No. Oh my fucking god. That's sickening. That's but a brilliant. Look at Thank you so much, James, for your... Though. He's called James. Yep. You're not a bad person. You've just made an honest mistake, and that's probably... It's a rough one you're going to have to live with. I also agree. I don't condone it, but it is funny. I, I think that is yeah. a great way of starting that. You did now. Well, you did a lot wrong, but you didn't mean to do anything wrong. Yeah, so for I sure. think justice for James. That's that's brilliant, though. You've made you've made this podcast for me. Right. Jamie says, Hello, e boys. Last week, I found my mum's nudes oh, fuck. because I had to help her set up her new phone. Later, I found out that they weren't intended for my dad, but for some bloke called Pete. She doesn't know that I know. Oh! I don't know what to do with this information. Got any advice? I feel like I'm playing Kaplunk. Blackmail. Fuck, you've got to tell your dad. You've got to tell Blackmail. your dad. Blackmail, you've got to get something out of it. Do, do they have two Pete written on them? Get your dad in. Oh, yeah. Get something out and then tell your dad. Mm. New telly. New telly. Oh, yeah, you could get a PS5. Like, mum, I know you're sending titty pics to Pete. You've absolutely got to tell your dad. Mm, you've got to. 100 percent you got you gotta you gotta have your dad's back there i think that is the right way of going about it get some shit out of it and then 
Yeah. Tell you yeah. Extortion. Oh, me. Use extortion. Oh, you could get. You could extort twice as well. How could you extort twice? You go to the dad and you go. I've got a big secret. It will change your life. But you've got to buy me an ice cream. No, first. bro. He's getting. No, you could get on. Pete what? involved. He's finding out his wife is sending titty pics to another man and you're trying to extort- It's just an ice cream. You're trying to extort a fucking confectionery out when of When you it. get the fiver- Your scut, that's that. That's when you get the fiver and you go to the shop, get him a feast as well. Get him a Cadbury's 99 this flake. This man, you're telling me that you're- Fuck you, James. Fuck you. And also, do you know what the best thing about this is? There's a part that you guys have completely forgotten. Eventually, you can extort- You can use extortion to get a bunch of shit out of them. But then- Right, when the inevitable split happens, you have two Christmases, two birthdays. Two Christmases, you're cashing yeah. in yeah. big time. Mm. That's huge. Yeah, you're banking. Your dad's depressed, though. <laughs> yeah. Look after your dad. Look after your dad. <laughs> uh, Poor guy. I bet Pete's a massive legend, though. No. Yeah, what if he's like a cool stepdad? What if you gain like. Do- shut cock. up, this person's listening to this. They're probably really upset over the yeah. fact this has happened. Oh, well, we weren't going to give you proper advice. I think, yeah, I think, dude, dude, I would, I would tell, I would tell. I think it's important to, because otherwise that's something you could sit with for the rest of your life. Like your parents could stay happily married, happily for the rest of your life. And it would feel wrong. I think you Mm. say it. It's going to crash down eventually. Absolutely. hundred percent. Brilliant. Mm. These got great. These got, don't give us, don't, we we can't get a stinker after this. This is, we're on on progression now. Oh, mate. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing a brilliant first sentence. Come on. I am a furry. Oh, Uh, excellent. It started out as a joke. I don't know when it became true. I set all of my socials to a fasona that I paid someone £40 to draw for me as a joke to make my friends laugh. But now I identify with it. I love using my fasona Twitter account. I actually enjoy watching TikToks of people in fursuits. I set my background and lock screen to pictures of furries for the joke. It was supposed to be a joke, guys, but it has all gotten too real. I have become what I swore to destroy. Also, no, I do not want to fuck dogs. That's how it started, though, doesn't it? That's how it always starts for these people. Uh, fucking, have they sent any pictures of their fursona? No. Ah, uh, mmm. I think I'm doubting this. Yeah. Do you know what? Mm. It's but it does seem What's their name? Fair. Does it sound like a furry-ish name? Are they called, like, Evelyn or, like... Simone. I believe this now. <laughs> I believe this. I think it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say enough. it's true. I'd say it's true. It's definitely. I don't. I don't doubt it for a second. It, uh, do you think it's wrong? There's quite a lot of furries out there. Is it wrong so. to be a furry? Yes. It's wrong to be a furry. Yes. I don't think it's wrong to be a furry. It is. It is. <laughs> it's fucking. No, weird. It's, look, can... it's fucking weird. Like yeah, I mean, I anybody who says it isn't is just fucking cheating themselves. It's strange behaviour. It is odd. But if you're not harming anybody, who cares? The problem is most of them do. <laughs> right, 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 right. Now that's out of pocket. Now we've gone too far. All right, next, next one. Sorry. Next one. Sorry. Sorry. Very passionate about that subject. I once had a wank in a car with my parents driving, and I successfully came without anyone knowing. Oh my fucking god! How how old? I don't know, but their, their, their image is a Spongebob character looking sad. <laughs> it's a sad looking fish. That's quite a, that's quite a feat. That sounds like too specific to just like pull out for bants as well. Like I've the fully I'm fu- wanked in the back of a car and you've just got like what sticky sticky Oh sticky seats. Oh yeah. Sticky fingies. Oh yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> It's easily doable, though. No, it's not, Alex. What? Are you in a limo? Like, unless you're, like, in a limo. There's an E-Boys, mate. There is an E-Boys video what? in this. No, if you're in the back seat, if you're in the back seat, you could crack, could, you could sneak one. No, 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 no. There's no an E-Boys chance. video in this. What do you mean? What? It's, that's not, like, an easy feat. Because say you got both your parents in the front. Yeah, looking ahead, focused on the road. Eyes ahead. You're within. You're within the per. Say you're behind one of the chairs. You're within that person's peripherals. If you just you're in, always you know, in no, at least one of like their peripherals. To the side, and you just like just had a quick, quick one in the corner. No, but it's risky <laughs> as hell. That isn't it? Like it's absolutely risky. But I reckon. I reckon, I reckon it's doable. Possible. It's possible, but it's just like likely. You're likely gonna get caught. Absolutely. Look, I'll come back to you guys next week and tell you if it's doable or not. Oh, just try cool. it in the Uber. <laughs> 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 
Uh, five star rating. Come on, the gym. I'm trying to find one that's good. Hold on. Yeah, you're gonna be there for a while, mate. <laughs> good luck. Anybody here got any confessions? Uh, well, I used to piss the bed in year seven, and my parents would give me sugar tablets. Oh God, this is criminal. Sorry, this yes, is probably the criminal. worst. Criminal. This one comes in from Isabel. Mm. I lost my virginity whilst watching the True Geordie, Will and E, Jack Mate, Stephen tries and I'm Alex podcast. Fucking hell. Oh. Really? What part? What part? What, <laughs> what, what part? part? <laughs> Wait, what did they say? Can you repeat that? They lost their virginity whilst watching the True Geordie Christmas special podcast with Will and E, Jack Mate, Stephen tries and I'm Alex. Ooh, a Christmas shag? Yeah. Festive. Was it at what part? Okay, that, that is actually a bit odd. If you're oh. losing your virginity on Christmas Day, who are the people <laughs> yeah, you that spend is a bit of a strange day. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird way. To, yeah. Mm. Maybe they watched it a few days after. Yeah. To be fair, I have gone back and listened to that podcast a few I don't times. Know what you were gonna say? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something very yeah. different there. Is that the it's one where Mia comes on? That's the one where Mia comes on, right? It is understandable though, because because Santa only comes once a year. Three out of ten. <sighs> Oh, come on, mate. That was a good one, man. Uh, that, was, that was James Standard. That was James Standard. Yeah, it was. Sorry. I'm, uh, I'm just... I'm upset that I didn't come up with it myself. I thought right. you would have got there When first. I was like 10. Yeah, sorry. Right. When I was 10, me and my cousins were messing around with my grandma's urn. I have no idea why. And I dropped it. So some of the... Some of uh, my granddad's, not grandma's, sorry. So huh. some of his ashes fell out. And I was so scared that someone would notice. So I got some sand from my cousin's play area outside and filled it up long oh, story no. short me and my cousins aren't allowed near dead relatives anymore so they found out well nobody's allowed near dead relatives i mean yeah but like how would you find out that do, do, do you do you look at someone's ashes do you just like go in and see how they're doing i think someone's right if you've done it in front of your cousin and you're a kid mm. they've definitely right they've For definitely sure. told not not oh, criminal God. though just another 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 daft escapade at least you try to fix it yep you know, you can't really complain there. Because, like, you know, unless somebody's checked in and gone, oh, granddad's looking like 60% beach, then, you know, <laughs> I, I I just, I think you, you've made a decent effort. As long as they're the same colour. Yeah, as long as the, what color as long as the vase isn't, like, glass. As long what as colour are glass, ashes? You're I think, like, grey, right? Like, greyish, aren't they? Yeah, it's been a long time since Seven, I've burned yeah. somebody. So. This, one's, this one's interesting. Come on, James. On. Sell it to us. Give us the real story. Right. About this one. This one has a surprise twist at the end. About two years ago, I was at a summer camp. I met this boy called Zach. He was amazing from the first day I met him. We became best friends instantly. By the end of the camp, I'd fallen completely in love with him. But he had a girlfriend at the time. And I may have gotten okay. jealous Fuck and got it. them to break up. Wow. It was stupid. Sorry, Zach. I never got his socials and numbers. Uh, or number. It's been two years and I can't stop thinking about him. I know he used to watch uh, George and Will though, so hoping he listens to this podcast now. Zach, summer Zach, camp. it's Oscar. S- summer I miss fling. you. O- Oscar. Yeah. Damn. What? So he? What? It was he made the the girl break up with the girlfriend. Yeah. For a boy relationship. For a boy relationship. Oh, Which is uh, that's, sorry, that's, that's, that's got like a little term. twist at the end, you know. Yeah, because you would. I read that thing going from a from a female's perspective, but it's like, oh, yeah. I miss you. Oscar. Fuck it, well, you don't owe, you don't owe that girlfriend anything. Fuck her. Too right. I think you, you. I don't think you've done anything wrong apart from not capitalize on on the end of camp, uh, end of summer camp romance. If you're still thinking about him, you've you've you, he's got away. But the girlfriend, you should feel no remorse. You don't. Why would you not her. get their number? Yeah, if you're gonna go to that length of breaking up a relationship and then you're not actually that. Mm, yeah. Wasn't even yeah. asked to get numbers. Maybe you ask him. Yeah, he'd serve to lose him. Okay. But the real loser is the kill. This is like an American teen rom com. Mm, it is, isn't it? And that's why it almost feels a little too Im- unbelievable, you know? No, I, I can believe that. Okay. I would like to start this off by saying be nice to fast food workers. I work in a Chinese takeaway, and if George. a customer is ever rude, dry, or mean to us, we <laughs> what, purposefully what? fuck up your order. I, got, I went what, as far. What, what, what's the joke, Alex? What, <laughs> what do you mean? George tweeted out uh, at the Just Eat Man the other day. Oh. Being horrible, didn't oh, he? Yeah. The guy loves the <laughs> fucking bag at the door. The drink was upside down, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> what did you do to that man to make him do that? I didn't, I didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. He just he called me, which was, this was, should have been a red flag. He gives me a call and goes, I knocked on your door. I left it at your door. I was like, okay, we got a doorbell. You could have. I didn't say that, but I was like, 
It's a bit weird that he's knocked on the door and called me to tell me he's dropped off the food instead of just ringing the doorbell. Uh, so I was like, okay. So I go downstairs. The fucking floor's soaked. I pick up the bag. I look in the bag and the drink is upside down. <laughs> it's like, how has that happened? I'll let James tell this confession and then I'll segue it into a night that we had, yeah. James, with uh, a certain somebody where I'm pretty sure he... I don't know why he does this, but he used to complain a lot and I'm pretty sure people just fuck him with his food constantly. But carry on. Oh, right, on. come on, Jim. What's, what's the confession? I went as far as putting the wrong sauce on a customer's food because he called me stupid over the phone. That's mm. not really fucking up an order, though, is it? It's just like... No, you, you didn't just spit a, in it or anything. You get your money back. Yeah, if, you don't, if there was no bodily fluids, I think you're... We, oh, you're okay, pussy. no, this is stupid. My friend has purposely not put items of the order in the bag, and we will put vegetables in your food, even when you ask for no vegetables. Oh, oh fucking raucous. Oh, no! No! <laughs> there are veggies in my Gherkins! noodles! You're not a bad person, <laughs> you're just pathetic. <laughs> I've let customers off with three pounds because they couldn't find the change and took it out of my tips because they were nice to me. So be nice to fast food workers. There you go. Yeah, fair enough. We're going back to that. But you're you're a bit of a wet flannel. You, you personally, <laughs> like, personally, I would rather not be nice to you because I think you're a bit... Mate, next time something turns up and I'm missing like a water bottle or something, I'm going to know that they watch this podcast and they are perhaps trying to get at us. I can't believe it. What was that. the story you wanted to say, Alec? Well, I remember when we had a McDonald's order turn up, but deep into like, it was like three o'clock in the morning, right? And it was me, James and Fraser. And everything turned up. And I mean everything. And we must have ordered about 20 things because we were fat as fuck just ordering McDonald's all the time. And this McDonald's order turns up, everything in there apart from one Pepsi. Right? Just one. Right? So Fraser calls the delivery driver and makes him go all the way back to the McDonald's and come come back with a singular Coke. Just one singular Coke. Makes him drive all the way back and he comes back with the one singular Coke and he drank it. And I said, you know he's done something to that. He must have. Because he didn't get paid for his time. And then he went, I do that every day. And I went, that's worse. You, the, surely there's going to be... Have you seen, if you if you walk around Canary Wharf, all the delivery drivers line up in this same area. They definitely talk about people there. I reckon they've got a blacklist. I'm surprised he managed to get someone to actually go. Like, whenever I say, oh, there's the wrong thing, and it, like, if you know when you, you like, look in the bag and it's bare light, and you're like, oh, this isn't what I ordered, they just look at you like, well, it's not my problem. Just walk, <laughs> they the walk away. I've never had someone actually give a shit. I don't open the bag until they're gone because I know that doesn't change anything, you know? No, yeah. The other day I ordered McDonald's breakfast and I woke up in a really fucking bad mood and he sp the guy had spilt my drink again. It wasn't as bad as the one I put on Twitter, <laughs> but the drink was spilled. It was always it's the floor. The, the food. The food every was, time. The food was ruined and I was like, I'm, I'm not having this. So I fucking run out after him down the hallway. George! Like, You've spilt the drink. And then he just looks at me and went, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do now. What do I do at this point? So I was just stood there in my boxes, just in the hallway, holding up this like dripping bag, and he just walked off. And then you look round, and there's young Philly, and you go, Oh, I, I know you, young yeah, I know Philly. You, young I'm <laughs> That's horrific, because you know that because we live at the same address. That if they fuck with your food, they'll fuck with mine. No, I, I wasn't rude to him. I was just like, you spilt the drink, and he went, Oh yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. I, just, I didn't know what to do. I don't know how you guys do this. I don't complain. I don't know about you, but I don't complain because I'm terrified of them, like, starting a union against me. Because I know they do that. Now, if they ruin, start a union against our flat... It, it definitely happens, man. I mean, I've been always been... I've always been a really socially awkward person, and my aunt used to always complain in restaurants. A horrible like, oh, no, it? I'd never, no, never, 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 never. Literally, I would argue up to 50% of the time, times we would go to a restaurant, it would end in her getting the manager, like, like getting like a refund on the food, getting money off the food. And it was just like, my dad and I are very similar people when it comes to social interactions, and we just both despised it. We would not say a single word the whole time. We'd just be there like, I hated it. I like it. I like the food. I once went to uh, a Nando's with uh, like one of my old friends and he was sat there. We, we ordered our food. He ordered like a double chicken burger or something and they accidentally gave him like a single. Very easy mistake to fix. He calls over the, the waitress and it's just like, can I speak to your manager? The manager comes over and he's like, 
this has ruined my Nando's experience. <laughs> and he gave like this proper like spiel and he got like like a gift card or something for Nando's. Fucking hell. I, I was like, you are brave. I would never do that. So just the type of person you don't need in your life, innit? George, people were using your tweet to get money off, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, people were using my tweet of my fucked McDonald's order to get money off, their, to get, like, free money from, like, um, even American ones. Like, someone got 50 quid from DoorDash wow. by using my, my suffering. That's elite. What, so they just put your picture in instead? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's elite. That's elite. That's class. Class from them. Fraud out the big companies. I like it, boys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is fraud. You can go to jail, but... <laughs> yeah, but who cares? You're not going to go to jail over at McDonald's. Come on, then. Give us, give us a new one. For the last six years, I've worked part-time at a childcare organisation. Whenever one of these cretins <laughs> really oh gets on my nerves and asks me to tie their shoelaces, I'll tighten their shoes as tight as I can. Uh, usually the worst kids are sent to the back for misbehaving uh, or whatever. So if I open doors for everyone, I'll forget to keep the door open for the last kid and watch it swing back in their face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> don't work. If you hate kids, don't work with kids. Like, mm. you don't have any, like, uh, yeah. No. One of my te- uh, te- I had a teacher in primary school that tried to push me down the stairs. What? Really? What? This teacher, she she ended up leaving like a couple years after because she hated children, mm. uh, and that was quite apparent because she hated me. Um, and I was just, it wasn't many stairs. I think she, I was walking quite slow, and we were. I was walking downstairs, and she like kind of pushed me a little bit. I could see myself in that position, just having a quick snap and lap, lapse of judgment, and just trying to push a small George down. Yeah, I also once kid. told her to do her job properly, and she got she called my mum in. Fucking oh hell. my god, George. She was a bitch. She was a proper bitch. <laughs> wow, fucking hell. I think I think you're I think you're not a bad person because I couldn't differentiate myself doing that. I could I could see that happening. Fair play. Fuck them. Fuck those kids. Yeah, fuck those kids. I've got another one about a kid here. Um I accidentally knocked out a child in the skate park after failing a trick. My board flew down a stair straight into her face and she was out cold. Uh, her mum took her home and kept me updated on how she was. Oh, that's fine. Also it happened to be on camera. <gasps> oh. Have oh, they got the link? And they've attached a picture. Oh, oh, oh yes! yes! Go on! Uh, oh my god, you can... The, it, it is... This is absolutely cracking. I'm going to describe it. You can... It is just a single frame from the video. It is a skateboard about to hit a child's <laughs> And the child oh, has just clocked oh it god. and is looking at the skateboard as it comes <laughs> pelting towards her head. Oh, that's a stinger as well. Fuck me, brilliant. Oh. Right in the nose. You can see the where it's going. That's amazing. <laughs> very, very I feel good. like everybody's decked a kid at one point though, by accident. Oh yeah, yeah. I was once at a family thing and when I'm standing around doing nothing, I kinda do this I guess like move my feet. I was just moving my feet, like swinging him, and I accidentally booted a child in the head that was standing behind me. Oh George. You ain't kids, man. It was it wasn't hard. Yeah, I accidentally decked a kid in a McDonald's play area once, but it was completely by accident. There's no more context that. You two have gone very quiet. Will and James, you've both gone really quiet. Sorry, I zoned out. I had nothing to say. I had nothing to say. Have you ever hit a child, Will, on accident? I've got nothing. No, yeah, no, no, it comes to mind. No so. comment. <laughs> you must have. Not that I'd like to say on the record. It's a legal ongoing <laughs> case, that one. <laughs> Can't talk about it yet. Uh, my sister, when I was younger, hit me across the face with a clock. Like a, a small, like a, not a real clock, but like a fake grandfather clock that was about this big, big wooden one. Mm. She clocked that must hurt. me around the head with it. It fucking hurt. And clocked she you around the head with it? it. Because it's a clock. She denies it to this day. Do you know, James? I, you know, Harry after Potter's all this Harry time, Potter's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Harry Potter's Muggle like family. That's yeah. how like I imagine your family situation growing up with just like dodgy. Well, well, the the and You're like, <laughs> trying to say something about my dad? <laughs> no yeah, post on mean? Sundays. <laughs> 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 This is public knowledge, but I'm currently dating the guy who was supposed to be my best man at my wedding. Ooh. (laughs) Wow. 
So, and but are, apparently, are they still married, my, or, or did they not get married? My ex fiance was excited by the news. Oh, right, interesting. Imagine that. Tell me there's depth here. Tell me there's. That's all we got. Oh, for fuck off, man! You can't give us half a fucking them bastards. Yeah, we want to know how you got to that. Uh, how did you? Why is he your ex fiance? Come on, guys. This is a full confession. Oh, I thought it was another. Oh, yeah. This is the last starred one, by the way. So, okay. Uh, I once sucked a guy off in an alleyway who was dressed as a baby. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, James. Boyfriend... Wait, what? Mm. Repeat that? While my boyfriend. Clip that out of context and put that on Twitter, please. <laughs> please. <don't. laughs> While well, my boyfriend. Well, I've realised I've read out everything. <laughs> yeah, you have. Millions can we get a montage? First person to get a montage. Can you, can montage. you say what you, the first bit again? Because you cut out for me. Um, this man once sucked off a guy in an alleyway dressed as a baby. While their boyfriend, who was also dressed as a baby, was drinking in the bar next door. He was dressed as a baby in a bar? There's like three sins going on there. This was definitely in America. No, it's this is like a, a stag do thing, surely. Or dressed as baby? I, mate, I don't know. People are fucking weird, mate. So much wrong there. You and your boyfriend and your new fling toy boy. All wrongings. If they were dressed as like furries... You- do you reckon they did? They were in character, or did they just try and ignore it? Right now, now that sounds about. We can't imply such a thing. No, that's the red card. <laughs> You've been sent off for that, mate. If they were dressed as fairies, it would have been fine. But that's too far. Yeah, just a bit of a mood killer, right? A little bit off. I don't know where to go from uh... there. We got. Come on, find some, find some shit ones. That was the last starred one, by the way. So that one was seen as oh. This will be riveting. Oh, no, it was, it was juicy, hold on. We've got some more. We've got some more. we got one more starred one. All or has just starred it. Come oh. on, MC. My confession is that I made a fake person up and I catfished all of my friends. Some of them even dated me as a fake boy. <gasps> what he dated? That doesn't fucking count. That's not a real thing. <laughs> Too right. <laughs> we've all done that sort of. It's not a fucking real thing. I mean, that is what catfishing is, Will. Have you ever made you a fake Facebook profile? You didn't, date, just... you didn't date them. I don't wait. George is about to say something really incriminating. Have you ever made a fake Facebook profile? Only for what? like some shit 2018 video. Go on, George. Huh? I have a Facebook profile that I is not my actual name for my building, and I love complaining in it. Like I regularly <laughs> complain as as and I just pretend I'm like 45 years old and I live in this building and I'm I hate the noise pollution and shit like this and oh the bin situation is still terrible. I love it. I love going on about rants like that. And there's that guy with that seven million pound guitar next who won't stop fucking strumming it around every day. <laughs> no, but in college, um, we set me in a, a well, it wasn't really me. It was like a couple of my mates, and I kind of just watched. They set up this account. Uh, and uh, they join like I guess like dating groups, and they'd just be like men from other countries. They just add up, and uh, they like these these men are just video call this random account, and they'd just be sitting in like internet cafes, and they there's been like no conversation, and they just go I love you, I love you, I love you. We didn't have camera on or anything. We didn't say anything to these men or anything like that. But they're down bad. Like, I respect the the pursuit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that reminds me of when I went to Spain on um on a I I don't know why this is reminding me of that but I went on a, a, like a school holiday to Spain and I used to just go to an internet cafe and play tribal wars every day that was my time there. Internet cafes, mate, used to be elite. Did anybody ever use mm. those? No. Oh, mate, unbelievable! Definitely an unbelievable place if you want to get groomed. Go to an internet cafe. Uh, definitely have gone under since the whole idea of 4G started becoming widespread because you don't need to go to one to use a laptop no there's no need there's no need for an internet cafe I remember being on holiday in Cornwall and I went into an internet cafe to log on to the Lego website to see how my Lego was doing that's a confession is there any more is there any more unstored confessions we can have a quick flick through before we sack this it's about 500 um... brilliant pick a random one that looks pick pick a lengthy one. Give us a story. Hmm. Oh God. My confession is that when I first met my girlfriend, we decided that I'd stay at her house to fuck, and she broke my dick during sex. Oh. We woke uh, up in a puddle of blood. The no, next oh morning, no! Ooh. No! 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 And she thought it was her period. I've never told her it was me. 
and we're still together. Was it like a um, the thing where you snap this like the bit of skin in between? The banjo, or like actual actual fracture. The banjo string, probably. That's the one. That's the one. You can't fracture it. There's no bone there. Not fracture. I didn't say fracture. Like any. Yeah, but you can still break your dick. Yeah, crack it in half. Fucking brutal. Yeah. Like a glow have stick. Have you seen them? Speaking of, speaking of, have you seen them TikToks of people putting like, like catheters up like pretend dicks on TikTok? No, and I don't want any. So it's awful. It's awful. What is your few yeah, page? They mate? keep coming. They keep coming up on my few page. I don't like them. Because you watch them all the way through, don't you? No, I don't. I I scroll. But once I see what's happening, I scroll past. I think I've watched. That's not how the few page works. It would stop recommending it to you if you don't watch them. You're watching them. I don't watch them. <laughs> I've watched, I watched like one in its entirety. Yeah, I was just for you pages. Yeah, no, I, 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 who has seen it? Uh, any, any more, Jim? Or oh, is this a good place? Grace has said, Hi, boys. I work at KFC. You guys love it too much. I have a feeling that she might work at the KFC. <laughs> the local <laughs> KFC. What, not Cannon Town? Not Cannon Town useless KFC. I think the, she's also said she can get us a 30% discount. Oh, really? Yeah, I've got a box right here. Can we have the actual orders that we order? Can we have the actual items we want? Oh, fuck. My um, uh, camera is dead as night. Hey, well, that's over an hour. More. That's an hour. I've got of one pause. more and it's a big one, right? Okay. All right. I'm a Dutch midwife in training, and I've been through some stuff. Worst thing to ever happen? A home birth. First child I was in charge. It was a 38-hour delivery, and I'd been there for 26 of those hours. The entire time, I called the husband father to be James, whilst his name was Tom. Uh, not sure why, but I'm afraid it's because of the few hours I got to sleep. I slept with James Marriott's videos in the background. Two hours after the delivery, I did a professional exchange to the person switching with me. Me tried to do it well to get the... Everything alright, James? I, I think all it is is they called someone uh, the father of a child, James, for the whole time because they'd been watching my videos too much and their name was actually Tom. Now that's the real sin. There's a real sin. Do you reckon somehow that like would have been a great way to subliminally get them to name the kid James? Like you just keep on calling them James constantly. I, if you're a mid, all the midwives out there who, who watch the Boys podcast, get parents to name their kids after us, and and we will reward you in some way, shape, or form. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we should reward people for naming their kids after us. I think that's a that's a bad idea. We could raise a generation, an army, and we could finally. If if you have a kid that is named our name. And our last name has to be their middle name. They can come and live on E-Boys e Island. Yes, that exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's about a free pass go. in. I can't wait for there to be a child called George Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to finish it off, Jordan has a phobia of finite sperm. Thank you for listening to this episode <laughs> of the E-Boys podcast. Yeah, See you, everyone. Much love. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you get you, you rate us five. Wait, no, no, no. I've got something I want to do right before the end. We mentioned E-Boys Island. I want to read out some of the reviews of the Green Shed. Yes, yes, oh, yes. yes. Let's do it. The Green Shed. So a lot of you guys sent in reviews for the Green Shed, which we greatly appreciate. Keep them coming in. Because when we do own this, we want to have the highest rated place on Google Maps. Oh, I want to find where it is. Green Shed. I think I found it. What do you reckon the highest rated places on Google Maps? Tesco, Metro, probably. No, I reckon it'd be like some fancy restaurant. Right. We have over... It is, the Green Shed is now rated 4.8 stars. It's got 265 reviews. Um, And I'm just going to try and... Who do you reckon owns now. that shed? Do you reckon they're over the moon at the moment? They, they just realise like, their shed's getting the love it deserves. Well, it must have gone up in price if you're trying to sell it off or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, it's prime real estate now. Should we try and find the person who owns the shed and buy it? N no. <laughs> oh, come on, that'd be funny. <laughs> I'm not buying a fucking shed. No. We should... One of the reviews is, someone has put a child in this. There is a child in this shed. Warden the residence. There's about to be a new ruler in town. <laughs> <laughs> That's us. Green Shed is great. I fed the feral child that lives there. I gave him some bread. And I warned the residents that the E-boys were coming. Great day out. <laughs> Um, it's like an invasion. It's very odd. 
yeah, keep keep the reviews of the green shed coming. Maybe it will do a uh, very big good shed. There's a scary child in it. <laughs> I don't know where they've got this from. We but should so many get. We should get. A child we should shed. get people to rate like an entire town and everything in the town. But all the comments should be like, "They are coming. Be aware. Be beware." And that's what all of the comments should be. It should just be an entire town where any review you go to. The end times are coming. Yeah. It, it, yeah. God has decided that you are no, that you are forfeit. Comment that on everything in the where the green shed is around there. Yeah, everywhere. So we're talking. Go to uh, Roshvan. Go to Kinloch Moidart, um, Ard Molek, and Dina Brayak. Yeah, and Darlin Lee Delilia. Yeah, all and of those. Everyone. Go to all of those places I just mentioned and start saying that the that winter is coming. Uh, yeah, and on that note, thank you for watching the podcast, everybody. We'll see you guys very soon. See you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.